Hi, I'm Nancy from Dan Choice Clothing and welcome to Fashion Fridays. Well, we're on our last segment of looking how to style various body shapes. So we've looked at the apple, the pear, the hourglass, and we're going to finish up by looking at the rectangle. Now a rectangle shaped body, the bust, the waist, and the hips are all pretty equal uh, in their terms of their measurement. So what that does is it creates a long column look. So when we're styling a rectangle body, what we want to do is we want to break up the look of the column. And we can do that, one, by trying to define the waist and having more separation between our tops and our bottoms. One way to do that is to choose a top that adds a little extra dimensionality to the look. And a great way to do that is with a bell sleeve. So now we've created a nice flowy look up top. We've also tucked in the shirt, which gives more dimension to the waist. Now a capri length pant in the summer is perfect for the rectangle body because it helps break up the length of the leg. Another great style to choose when you have a rectangle body is to choose a different color on the top and the bottom, or as we've done here, we've put a print on the top and a solid on the bottom. This top is really great because it's nice, it's flowy, it's got a nice v-neck which draws the eye upward. Again, we've tucked in the shirt into the pant, and then we've put a nice solid pant breaking up that column. And lastly, let's take a look at this dress. So this dress, it's got a really nice structure on the top, so it's keeping close to the body, which again is showing a nice bit of waist here with just the detailing and where the seam is. But look at this bottom. It has a really nice flow to it. So this is where we're getting the dimensionality here, and this is where we're breaking up the column. So there you have it, three different ways to style a rectangle-shaped body. Fashion Friday is brought to you by Dan Joyce Clothing, where great style has no age. Hunter Street, downtown Peterborough.